Imbraya and Mohindra Group have signed a memorandum of understanding to jointly fulfill the acquisition of C-390 multi-mission aircraft by the Indian Air Force in its upcoming medium transport aircraft procurement. Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a memorandum of understanding with PTC Industries, for indigenizing aviation-grade raw materials, along with components spares, sub-assemblies and line replaceable units for HAL-built fighter jets and helicopters. National Aerospace Laboratories has carried out 22 flight sorties of its high-altitude pseudo-satellite platform, and accumulated close to 37 flight hours. Zen Technologies Limited has showcased its state-of-the-art combat training solutions and counter-drone technology to several foreign militaries at the World Defense Show in Saudi Arabia. India has strongly refuted allegations of interfering in Canada's democratic processes. And the MEA spokesperson has said that in fact it is Canada who has been interfering in India's internal affairs. South Korea has started mass production of the extended range 155mm artillery shells for the K900 self-propelled howitzers that has a maximum strike range of 60 km. The European Union and India have joined hands to cooperate on countering the exploitation of drones by terrorists and non-state actors. Dynamatic Technologies has signed a deal with Airbus to build all door variants for Airbus A220 family of aircraft. General Atomics has released images of a fully constructed advanced air combat drone called XQ-67A, which is a stealthy high-performance drone designed for long-range high-altitude missions. The Defence Ministry is all set to clear the purchase of 48 heavyweight torpedoes from a foreign supplier for the six Calvary class submarines, and also approve a make in India plan for a significantly higher torpedo requirement. A new competition is likely to be conducted, in which France F 21 torpedo, Germany's Sea Hake torpedo, and Italy's Black Shark torpedo will be the contenders. The combined value of the two proposals is worth over 5,000 crore rupees, and the DRDO could take a lead role in the indigenous project by roping in a private partner. Eyeing the Project 75i deal, German firm Disencrypt Marine Systems has offered its Type 212A submarine equipped with the 40 km range interactive defense and attack system, which if procured by India, would be the first conventional diesel-electric submarine armed with an anti-air defense system, which can be launched from the submarine's torpedo tubes, to target anti-submarine helicopters, thus augmenting the survivability of submarines in hostile environments. U.S. firm General Electric is planning to establish a GE Aerospace subsidiary in India, specifically for maintenance repair and overhaul of these engines, and the aim is to keep the engine maintenance separate from Hindustan Aeronautics F-414 engine manufacturing activities. The envisioned model involves General Electric dealing directly with the Indian Air Force, and they might appoint a local firm to handle warranty-related repairs and replacements, keeping skilled Indian manpower involved. General Electric could oversee spare parts supply, potentially collaborating with local firms for license manufacturing of wearable spares. The highly anticipated delivery of BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles to Philippines has been pushed back, but not due to any technical or production issues. BrahMos aerospace officials have clarified that the delay stems from challenges faced by the Philippines in preparing missile deployment sites, mainly due to strong monsoons in the Philippines, which has hampered construction work on the designated missile deployment sites. The construction is expected to be completed within two months, and the BrahMos delivery is now expected in April 2024. Today's Top 3 Comments